Hey everyone, so here is a question from square and square root and the question is find the smallest number by which 2925 must be divided to get perfect square. To solve this problem, we are going to do a prime factorization here. So 2925 is not a perfect square, so we have to divide this number with the smallest number to get it, to make it perfect square and then we are going to find a square root of that number. So let me write down the number 2925 first. Now since this number ends with 5, we cannot take a 2 as a prime number. So we're going to carry with a 3. So this number is divisible by 3. So we'll divide. We'll get 3 uh, 9s are 27. 2 will be left. 22 will get. Then 3 7s are 21. 1 will be left. Or 3 5s are 15. So we'll get 975 here. If it doesn't know how to do this, you can just divide the number and get the answer. Now again, 975 is divisible by 3. We'll get a 325. Again, 325 is not divisible by 3, so I want to take 5 and do it. I'll get 65 here. Like 5, 6 are 30, 2 will be left, so 5, 5 is 25. 65. Now, again, 65 is divisible by 5. It goes in 5 table. 5, 13 is 65. Now, we'll get 13 here, but 13 is a prime number. It doesn't go in any table. It is a prime number, so we'll get 13 ones are 13. Now, once this prime factorization is done, just rewrite all the factors you got. So, 2925 can be written as, write all the factors. That is, 3 into 3, and then 5 into 5, and into 13. Once you're done, start pairing up the factors. So, you can see there is a pair of 3 and 5, but 13 is a single. It doesn't have any pair. So smallest number to be divided will be 13 because if I remove this 13, then I'll get a perfect square. And we can find a square root of that number. So I'm going to divide both the side by 13. So it's very simple. Just look for the number which is single, which is not paired and divide with that number. So on the right hand side, 13 will get cancelled. On left hand side, just divide the number or you can cancel the number. You'll get 225. And 225 can be written as... Whatever you have on the right hand side, just write down again. It's a 3 into 3 and 5 into 5. So you can see now we have an exact pair of 3 and 5. Now square root of 225 will be nothing but from each pair you take one one factor. I guess you would have learned how to find out the square root by prime factorization method. So this is how you can do it. So once you're done prime factorization, uh, just look for the number which is not paired and that number to be divided. So yeah, I've taken 3 and 5, we'll get 15. So, the smallest number to be divided here is 13. I hope it's clear. In case you have any question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you.